The Dairy Today Report is brought to you by CattleExchange.com, connecting cattle buyers and sellers nationwide. USDA releases its 2011 dairy total, showing big gains across the board from production to cash receipts. In 2011, milk production was up 1.8 percent to 196 billion pounds. The production per cow was nearly 200 pounds per animal, higher than 2010 levels. Herd size increased 75,000 head, while cash receipts tallied roughly $40 billion, a 26 percent jump from 2010. Meanwhile, ongoing discussions are occurring regarding the dairy portion of the 2012 Farm Bill. CEO of Associated Milk Producers Incorporated, Ed Welch, says current legislation for dairy producers like the milk income loss contract payments is too expensive and something has to change. Proposed in the 2012 Farm Bill is the Dairy Security Act, which would focus on the margins between milk prices and feed costs versus just milk prices. Welch says although the act is complex and can be confusing, it's a better alternative to the program currently in place. I think the problem with the dairy market stabilization program isn't the program itself, but the producer doesn't understand it. And, and I, I can understand why he doesn't, because we don't understand it half the time. It, it changes so much. Um, and then you've got the opponents like IDFA that are taking advantage of the fact that, you know, they're still using words like quota. We haven't heard quota as part of this market stabilization program for three years. But it's a scare tactic. And I think once the producer starts to understand that it's uh, it's, a, it's a quick in and out. It's, uh, it's voluntary. Uh, you can take a three-month rolling average, or you can take the previous month's volume 12 months ago. Uh, it, and it's necessary to score this margin part of the program. 